I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 4 in my book, Fishing the Bucktail. In this video, we'll be using the middle bucktail, and that's a one ounce blue frog fixed hook, along with a number 50 strip of Uncle Josh pork rind. Here's a look at the retrieve speed. We're throwing this one ounce jig into a maximum of about 10 feet of water, but usually shallower than that. Uh, so it's more of a moderate retrieve, and uh, there's some variation on the retrieve speed depending on waves. So these are kind of challenging conditions. Um, the, the seas are calm, but there's a very stiff 20 to 25 mile an hour uh, wind directly on shore. And so what I've done is I've looked for a stretch of white water that I could reach, and uh, with this one ounce bucktail, this is uh, the Blue Frog Fixed Hook One Ounce is a pretty good casting bucktail, and with just a small strip of pork rind on there, um, I can reach that white water that you can see out there on the end of the cast. So I moved along the beach, found an area where I could hit some white water, and I'm focusing on that. So this is a pretty fresh wind, and that it just came up maybe within the last couple of hours, so it hasn't kicked up the seas yet, so I don't really have the advantage of wave action yet I've got the disadvantage of having that wind in my face and cutting into the casting distance of the bucktail. So this is a situation where I think a lot of people might shy away from using a bucktail and they might go to something like a, a diamond jig or something that cuts the wind better. Um, but if you choose the right weight bucktail, in this case if I had put a two ounce on, the water's not that rough yet so I would just be dragging bottom with it and yet if I went down to something like a three-quarter ounce, it certainly would not cut through the wind. But this particular uh, weight and style of bucktail casts pretty well and is allowing me to get the job done. I'm able to cast just over that white water and most of my hits are coming as I just about get out of the white water into the deeper water. This is the same 9-foot rod I use in many of my surf videos. It's built on a Lamaglass GSB-121L. That's a 10-foot blank, uh, one foot cut from the butt. The reel is a Vanstall 200 spooled with 30-pound test spider wire stealth. At the end of the braid, I have about a 3-foot liter of 50-pound test fluorocarbon. The fluorocarbon is joined to the braid uh, via a barrel swivel, and I have a tactical angler's clip on the end to where I attach the bucktail. This bucktail has a heavy duty hook in it. I have crushed the barb down, but even so, it's going to take me just a, a little bit of effort to work that jig out of the mouth. And, and that shows that even with a crushed barb, um, you know, you're really not in any danger of losing the fish because of that crushed barb if you just keep some pressure on the rod. The predominant bait fish at this time is sand eels, and you know, I would imagine that there could be some sand eels on that bar and uh, the white water there could dislodge them and that's what's keeping some fish along that edge. It's not really evident in this video but I'm not standing in one spot. That bar uh, stretches for a couple of hundred feet and there's really nobody around me on the beach so what I've been doing is making small moves and trying to work along the edge of that bar and uh, you know, find where the fish are hanging because it's hard to tell um, you know exactly what the best spots are along that bar so if uh, I make a couple casts and don't get bumped then I'll make a small move.
might be able to see from the way that bucktail is blowing backwards there that that wind is really solid and I'm actually waiting a second here trying to get a lull to cut through it. So this is an evening trip and I'm losing light uh, and I'm going to show one more fish on video before it got too dark to shoot video but uh, I did continue to catch fish into the dark on the bucktail and then I switched over to um, a heavy needle fish to reach that bar and on my YouTube channel I have a needle fish video so you can see how I would fish that. I'm done narrating now, enjoy the rest of the video.